object of this experiment is to use a spectrometer to observe the dispersion of light passing through a glass prism. Dispersion refers to the fact that the path that light travels through glass depends on the wavelength of the light. The spectrometer has three main parts, a collimator to collect and focus the light coming from a source, a table to mount an optical element. In this lab, the optical element is a prism, and a telescope to collect and focus the light after it has passed through the optical element. Carefully place a sheet of white paper in front of the prism, look through the telescope, and observe the crosshairs. By sliding the eyepiece lens in and out, adjust its position until the crosshairs are in sharp focus. Carefully remove the paper and the prism table from the spectrometer, direct the collimator slit toward the lamp, and move the telescope until the slit image is in view. Adjust the telescope focus so that the image of the slit as viewed through the telescope is well focused and free of parallax with reference to the crosshairs. Once a sharp, well focused image of the slit is obtained in the field of view of the telescope, adjust the slit width as narrow as convenient. Turning the control knob clockwise to the right narrows the slit and turning it in the opposite direction widens the slit. A wider slit will be a source of error in the experiment, but a very narrow slit will reduce the amount of light, making it difficult to locate the image of the slit after the light has passed through the prism. Align the telescope and the collimator so that the telescope crosshairs exactly coincide with the undeviated image of the slit The tangent screw may be used for fine adjustment. The vernier should now read zero. If it does not, unlock the spectrometer table using the clamping screw under the collimator, adjust the spectrometer table to read zero, and lock it into position for the remainder of the experiment. Now place the prism on the spectrometer table so that the light passes through the prism. Ensure that the frosted side of the prism is against the post of the prism table. With the unaided eye, it should now be possible to see the deviated images of the slit by looking into the telescope side of the prism. The images will appear as a pattern consisting of a number of parallel colored lines. Now bring the telescope into the line of sight. A well focused line spectrum of different colors should be visible. Select one line in the spectrum. While viewing this line, slowly rotate the prism table. The line will either move toward or away from the undeviated or straight through direction. While slowly rotating the prism table so that the deviation angle is decreasing, move the telescope so as to keep the selector line in view. Eventually the selector line will come to rest and then reverse its motion as the rotation of the prism table is continued in the same direction. The prism orientation corresponding to the rest or reversal position is the position of minimum deviation and the deviation angle at this minimum deviation position will be measured. It will be necessary to repeat this determination of the minimum deviation position for each of the eight spectral lines whose deviation angles are to be measured. The deviation angle is obtained by first noting the position on the spectrometer table scale of the arrow on the vernier scale. 
This gives the deviation angle to the nearest degree. Now decide which line on the vernier scale best aligns with the line on the spectrometer table scale. This vernier scale line gives the tenth of degree reading of the deviation angle. In this case, the angle is 51.4 degrees.